those people is wow. Six recently divorced couples are on the search for love again. If I was gonna go on a date right now, I'd pick my ex-wife. But they'll have to do it while living with their ex. What? The Bachelorettes JoJo Fletcher and Jordan Rogers, who recently celebrated their one-year wedding anniversary, are now saying their I do's to hosting the Big D. Your mind just goes in a million different ways when you hear the title at first, right? I mean, it's catchy for a lot of different reasons. We had a crazy first year. We were renovating a home. We had traveled a bunch after our wedding. So it was a nice little getaway for us to take a few days and just be like, wow, this is crazy. Yeah. We're a year married. Like, <laughs> We met on a reality dating show. It's so funny. People still to this day, we've been together seven years now. We met in 2016. That will come up to me and like, so is the show real? Like, is this actually real? I'm like, well, we're married. So my God, I hope so. It's crazy. Yeah. Do you still watch the show ever? Do you like you watching charity this season or are you just removed from it? When we got off the show, we took a big, just, we needed a break. Yeah. At all. I think that was really good for our relationship. We, I was a fan of the show before I went on. Um, and then this season with Charity, it was actually the first time that him and I got to do something with the show together. So we hosted a date with Charity. We got to meet her and some of her guys. Um, and we, we love Charity. She's been so great. We love seeing her guys. So I've been catching up on her season because now I'm like a little invested. I know these guys. I've met these guys. Welcome to beautiful Costa Rica. How would you all describe the big D? There's a lot of crazy stuff that happens. We bring singles into the villa one by one and you're just forced to date amongst your ex. We wanted to shine a light on the fact that there is love, there is growth, there is healing after divorce, when a lot of people think, oh, that's the end. Yeah. I'm never gonna have that amazing relationship again. A bunch of divorcees dating people's exes. There's no other option but to pour gas on the house and burn it down. What would you say is the secret to a happy, successful relationship? It's work. Mm -hmm. I know it's the most cliche thing that you can say, but the first year of our relationship was very difficult because we were balancing this expectation that everyone loved us, wanted us to be happy, thought we were a couple goals and realized that we still don't know each other that well. Yeah. We're still learning how to work as a relationship behind closed doors. And so we had to realize that we needed to work because we wanted it, not just because we needed to work pressure. because there was pressure to look happy. And I think that took a while to realize the difference between the two, but about a year into our relationship, we sat down and go, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. And if the best thing for us is to go our separate ways, we love each other, but maybe that is best. We chose not to, but we said, we're gonna have to actually lean in and work at it. Um, we're happy, uh, relationship's still not perfect. Uh, we're like any couple, um, but we're, we're in a really good place and uh, married. You two just kind of stayed your own course. We took a lot of time. Yeah. Time was our friend. You know, we celebrated our six year like being together anniversary the Thursday before our actual wedding day. So we we leaned into spending more time together and really developing that relationship and that bond. We had to make the best decisions for us. And, and, and we did that and we just stayed true to that. And so we're happy with how it all turned out. But yeah, a little different. Most people were like, are they ever going to get married? We're like, we're, we're getting there. This part is not going on TV. But if anybody can understand reality TV, can you get the medic? I think she's having a panic attack. It's JoJo and Jordan. We're also reality TV junkies. Like we love the drama that comes with that. I mean, there's a couple of nights I thought the house was going to get burned down. Yes. You know, it was insane. But also the underlying hope and the underlying love of these relationships that are forming from people that know exactly what they're looking for. I think that's what we loved about it. Do you really feel like I'm just trying to hurt you? Catch the big D and all the big drama. Who's still hung up a little bit on their ex with feelings? Raise a hand. Wednesdays on USA and streaming the next day on Peacock. Cheers to, to the big D.